This video shows the moment a ship carrying grain left the Ukrainian port of Odessa, the first to do so since the Russian invasion blocked shipping through the Black Sea five months ago. The engineer on board says he feels liberated being able to sail away from Ukraine. Uh, it was a great feeling. I felt as if we became free after being detained for a long time. It is an indescribable feeling to be returning to my home country after suffering from the siege and the dangers that we were facing due to the shelling. The ship carrying more than 26,000 tons of corn will undergo an inspection in Istanbul before continuing to Lebanon. This breakthrough follows a landmark deal between Ukraine, Russia, the United Nations and Turkey. Many food insecure countries around the globe today. Um, this this is just but a first step. Matthew Hollingworth is a global coordinator for the World Food Program in Ukraine. He says today's departure is the first step in easing a global food crisis sparked by war. Important. It's important because there are 345 million people today uh, in 82 countries who are um, acutely food insecure. Uh, some of those people. A million of them are living in famine-like conditions. Russia and Ukraine account for nearly a third of global wheat exports, but Western sanctions on Russia and the fighting along Ukraine's eastern coast have prevented grain ships from safely leaving. Ukrainian officials have said 17 ships are docked in the Black Sea ports with almost 600,000 tons of cargo, mostly wheat. Meanwhile, fighting continues across Ukraine's front lines. This video is showing a fire at a medical dispensary in the southern Ukrainian port city of Mykolaiv after Russian shelling and missiles struck the area. The city's mayor described the missile strikes as probably the most powerful on the city in five months of war. Melissa Nakavali, City News.